Years ago, I used to have a bad habit of getting into car accidents quite regularly, mostly fender benders, but I've also totaled two cars. And I actually got into my first accident only a week into getting my driver's license. Um, it actually happened because of an anxiety of mine, believe it or not. I had gone to uh, visit my mom where she was working at a bakery in Squirrel Hill. This is a suburb of Pittsburgh. And um, if you're familiar with Pittsburgh, there's a lot of parallel parking uh, near the city. So I had pulled up to the bakery and I was about to parallel park and I sucked at it. I barely passed the parallel parking part of the exam. And I, I, I'm looking at the spots and I'm, I'm in luck because the car behind where I was planning on parallel parking, the driver was sitting in the driver's seat and I thought he could watch uh, the, uh, for me. And if, if I got too close, he would honk his horn. You know, it was the, uh, it was the, uh, it was a hot summer day. So I had my windows open. I think he had his windows open too. And I naively thought that as soon as I got within two inches of his car, he would honk his horn. And I was waiting for him to honk. I was waiting for him to honk. Boom. Uh, and uh, I got very upset. I, I, I screamed obscenities at him and said, why didn't you honk your horn? And I was wrong. I should have told him to, um, or at least um, uh, tried, tried to wave at him to see if he saw me. It turned out he was on his cell phone. Uh, see, I was 19 years old at this time. He was in his mid-20s. He was pretty upset too because it was his parents' car. And um, we exchanged information, but it turned out his car had so much damage already. That's why his parents gave it to him to drive that they didn't mind. Um, and uh, they uh, wished me well. Um, I, I, later on, it, beca uh, it became apparent to them that I had social anxiety and that's why I hadn't even waved at them to, 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 to watch for me. And as it turns out, we became good friends. We were using AWOL instant messaging at the time. We have lost touch since then, but we, we had a number of conversations over the last, uh, uh, over the next uh, couple of months, if I remember correctly. So that was my first uh, accident. Um, I have a lot of trouble with daydreaming while I'm driving. Um, when I was uh, working on my PhD, I, my family was in Pittsburgh. I was going to school in Rochester, New York. And um, I used to love to go into all the small towns to, to, get, uh, to look for antiques at the thrift store and also to go to the bank to get rolls of coins. And um, it would not be unusual for me to, sp to, 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 to spend like a day and a half on the road. Like I would leave Pittsburgh, let's say it was a Wednesday afternoon. I wouldn't get to Rochester until like Friday morning. Uh, just just wandering around the city uh, and then sleeping in my car somewhere in Erie. Um, and um, one time as I was doing this, my mind just kind of got lost uh, thinking about um, where I was going to go next. And I rear-ended somebody. And it made me realize that to deal with all the hassles of an accident and then to find at, by the, at the end of the trip to count out my um, take and it might have been three silver coins and maybe an antique book, it just didn't seem so worthwhile anymore. So I kind of dialed down on doing that. And, I, and, and after that, I only spent like a day instead of like a day and a half. Of, I still loved it, but I realized that the, the math wasn't working out on, 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 on my business venture, if you will. Um, my, uh, my second year of my PhD program, uh, na I naively uh, lent my car to a friend to run an errand, and um, she was only supposed to be out for um, half an hour, and an hour had passed, and I got very nervous. I thought, um, I thought she was, uh, d d d I, I kind of had a crush on her. And I thought she might have had a boyfriend and I wasn't sure. But now that she had my car for like an hour, I thought for sure that she had gone to pick up a boyfriend and my heart kind of sank. Uh, but at least when I, I was thinking to myself, it was, a, it was the middle of winter time, if I remember correctly, I was thinking to myself, you know, if she picked up a boyfriend, you know, at least this would, be, this would flush her out, right? She's gonna have to come up with an excuse when she returns the car and given how naive she was at the time. I, I knew that when she came back, her story wasn't going to add up. So I was kind of excited, but I was, I was kind of heartbroken at the same time. 
And then the phone rings and I look and it's her number. And I, I knew something had happened. Either she had gotten sick or she had uh, had the car accident or uh, something weird, right? Sure enough, she had had, had a car accident. And so uh, I, I, was, I was more heartbroken about uh, what was gonna happen to my relationship with her than the car, believe it or not. I used to be a big sucker. Because at the time, see, I, I, I'm recording this in August of 2020. We're, on, we're in the throes of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. It's not a good time to go out to date, but it doesn't bother me because I realized I can go out on a date without a girl. Um, but at the time, at the time, I didn't realize you could go on vacation, you could go out to a restaurant, to a bar without the girl. I really didn't realize that. I was naive. I was 22 years old. I was naive. Um, Okay, um, four years ago, I totaled a Honda Accord because I was daydreaming while I was driving. I had just returned from a Computer Olympiad contest and um, I had done okay. I mean, I won one gold medal and a bunch of silver medals if I remember correctly. Um, so I was what, 29 years old at the time. I had been writing computer games for five years at the time. And I started to worry, what's going to happen to my computer games after I die? Nobody knows what I'm writing. Um, at the time, really, if I had died back then, I, I think my computer games would have died with me. I wasn't very popular at the time with my games. And I started to worry. Um, you see, even though I had been write, only writing computer games for five years, I felt like I had barely scratched the surface. You know, and I, in my mind, I kind of extrapolated and thought it's going to take me thousands of years to write everything I wanted to write because I had barely scratched the surface. And I started to wonder what's going to happen to my computer games after I die. And then I remembered a year earlier, I had broken up with a girl because she wanted children and I didn't want children at the time. And I started to uh, remember that uh, or think about that if we had children, uh, they could continue my computer games after I die. And I started to think about what our children would have looked like. And so I started to think about whether or not I should uh, give her a call and see if we could get back together and have children and uh, whether or not that would be worthwhile. And as I was thinking about that, traffic in front of me slowed down and I couldn't slow down quickly enough and uh, totaled the, the Honda Accord. Um, not long after that, uh, there was another. Uh, crash this one planned of uh, cassini the spacecraft was on its final mission um and uh, it needed to end its mission to avoid contaminating some of the moons of saturn so on september 15th 2007 cassini made its final dive into saturn and burned up in the atmosphere of saturn and as i was watching that i learned that cassini had been in flight for 20 years. And at the time, I had never owned a car for more than, uh, I think the, the longest was the, uh, the the car that I lent to my friend. Uh, I, I'd been driving that car for three years. And uh, I just felt kind of embarrassed by it. And also around the same time, I love to view the night sky. And so I started to think of my car as a, as a, as a rover mission here on Earth. And so uh, you know, if, if something can last in Saturn for 20 years, you know, at the same time we had the Opportunity rover on Mars, it was only supposed to be a 90-day mission, but it had lasted, uh, how long did it last for? Uh, 15 years? It died last year, I think. Uh, and uh, it became an inspiration for me. Uh, at the beginning of my, uh, when I first got the uh, Mitsubishi Lancer that I'm driving now, I would constantly remind myself if I'm daydreaming or not. Uh, I made it a habit that uh, I had several checkpoints along my commute where I would check in with myself. Every time I would stop at a red light, I would check in with myself by, by counting how many cars were in front of me, what color was the car in front of me, things that forced me to think about the road, right? Uh, with the license plate, make a sentence out of the letters of the license plate. I would play games like that to uh, 
to uh and and and, and uh, i would uh if i started to daydream i would pull into a safe place and i would i would force myself to write out what i was daydreaming i would get out my computer and type what i was daydreaming i had a, i had a very long diary at one point unfortunately um, i lost the computer where the, that the diary was on um so i would uh i would force myself to be more present about both the daydreams and the driving um the other bad habit I used to have is that I would be very indecisive about where I wanted to go next. So I used to, at one point I was living out of my car and um, it would be, uh, uh, um, uh, let's say it was a Saturday morning and I was planning on going to my girlfriend's place. And I wasn't, I, I, on the way there, I would be thinking about whether or not I should uh, stop at the laundromat to do laundry. I would get to the, the to the intersection where I had to make the decision and I would be making sudden lane changes and stuff like that. Or there would be multiple routes to get to my girlfriend's place or some other place I needed to go. And I would get to the, the intersection where I need to make a decision and the light would change and then I would get very jumpy about uh, making the light. Uh, or what else would it, or I would, um, uh, I don't know, things like that. And so I made it another habit that if I were to make, let's say I made a wrong turn somewhere, right? Instead of getting upset about making that wrong turn, I would be excited that it was a new place to explore with my Rover. Um, one time um, I had gotten nervous because I had seen police cars up ahead and um, I just didn't want to deal with uh, getting pulled over. You know, I have social anxiety as it is. So I made a right turn before uh, getting up to where the police cars were. And then I got lost. See, in the past, I would have gotten upset about that. It would have clouded my judgment. And instead, on this day, I thought to myself, this is an area of Bellevue, the suburb where I live in. This is an area of Bellevue that I've never explored before. Let's see what I can explore here. And um, I noticed there was a bank there and I went into the bank to look for rolls of coins. And sure enough, I find two silver coins. So that turned out well. So it really is the perspective under which you look at it, right? You can look at it as, you know, oh my God, I'm driving a 20 year old car and I really should be upgrading. Or you can look at it as this is the longest Earth rover mission I've ever succeeded in. Let's, let's see how long we can push it, right? Thanks for watching.